Today I'm going to have a little talk about my next move, setting up my test system for testing CB radios. It's a long, long time since I did this, way back in the 80s, and I'm finding it harder to get hold of some of the test equipment I want. Some stuff you can get quite easily and cheaper as well with the way prices have gone and electronics but some things are proving a little bit difficult. One of the difficulties is replacing my FM deviation meter and this is a pretty essential item. You need to be able to measure your deviation especially now, more so now than ever before because I'm getting CB radios that have been tweaked and twiddled by experts. <coughs> you know, experts. <coughs> and uh, one of the favourite things to do is to turn up the, F, uh, the FM deviation. The more you turn it up, the louder it sounds at the other end um, until you reach a point where it starts sounding very distorted. It all depends how good the filters are in the receiver at the other end. If you go too high, it sounds distorted. But you talk to someone else and they'll say it sounds great. But the whole point with FM is the signal, when you just send an unmodulated carrier, it's just like that, in the middle of your channel. Your channel is 10 kcs wide. We've got 40 10 kc channels and then the other 40. And as you start speaking, the signal moves backwards and forwards like that within the channel. The louder you speak or the louder the signal, the wider it goes. So you can make yourself sound very strong by turning it up inside and it goes so wide. But the thing is then, it is going outside your channel. Not only are you transmitting on, in this case, for this demonstration, channel 20, but you'll be transmitting on uh, channel 19 and channel 21 at the same time. Um, and so you're taking up three channels instead of one, which is very antisocial. Now, to get an, a deviation meter, is not easy because there was very very few made for the amateur market there's just the odd one Heathkit made one which you assembled yourself and there's a couple of, uh, of Japanese small ones that came out uh, none of them was particularly good but it was all that was available on the amateur market to get a deviation meter back when I was doing it you had to go professional buy a professional one and pay professional prices. But sadly, even those are, are, are fading on now. They're not as hard to get on the market. They, they just don't seem to be around anymore. So I don't know what's happened. However, there's an alternative. There's an alternative. And the alternative that I'm looking into now is one of these SDR USB dongles, which you can pick up from lots of places. They're, they're, they're around about 30 quid. You've probably seen them. I'll, I'll show you one in a moment. You can see it here. It's, it's plugged into the, the, the laptop there. So we've got the SDR dongle running. Let's just do that so my screensaver doesn't, uh, doesn't go out on me. SDR, and we're running the free software called SDR Sharp. We've set the filter bandwidth to 10 kilohertz on channel 20, which is what you get on CB. So there we are, the top of the screen there, you see the slightly lighter area is showing you the full 10kc channel 20. So when we speak and modulate, we, with, with a set that's set up properly, we should snugly fit inside the channel 20 and not anywhere else. Just, just stick nice and snug in your one channel. Um, if everything is set up. Now this little CB, this is the, the one I do most of my testing with. This is the, the little PNI Escort 6500. Very tiny little thing. Um, the reason I'm using this as a reference is because I bought this one brand new. It's still got the security seals on it. It's not been opened or interfered with. So this is as it comes from the factory. It might not be right of course, but <laughs> We've got to assume it's something like right. So if we key this now and talk and transmit, uh, and you can see.
see that that signal is basically sitting snugly in the waterfall there in the channel 10 kilohertz channel channel 20 10 kilohertz wide and uh, The modulation is sitting nicely in that so that gives us a good guide now this next radio is the Harvard which I've been messing around with for a little while I've still got a little bit more to do in adjusting it but it's been doing the rounds obviously it's been in the hands of an expert so now completely as it arrived I've not touched it in any way other than making it work we'll key up and do the same thing with this one uh, and as you can see it's spreading far far wider than the 10k it's it's spreading on the channels on either side in fact it could be spreading on three or four channels i've no idea but just as it's set up now so that we can examine channel 20 closely a, uh, an untouched radio uh, I've been practicing my karaoke singing <laughs> an untouched radio sits snugly inside the 10kc channel 20 one that's been messed about with has had the deviation turn up so wide uh, that it's spreading on goodness knows how many channels so obviously we could set it now using this SDR dongle and without an FM a deviation meter without the expensive test equipment we can simply twiddle the FM deviation control so that the signal sits within the 10kc bandwidth okay it's not going to be exact it's not going to be perfect it's not going to be as precise as it would be if it was done on some expensive commercial test equipment but we're going to get somewhere round about the right settings we're going to get a lot better than it is at the moment and so that's the whole point that if you want to set your FM deviation cheaply and quickly get yourself one of these SDR dongles run SDR sharp on your computer and set it up like I've done we set up the channel you can see there 27.79.125 and we've adjusted the zoom so that the channel 20 is showing fairly wide on the screen oh I think that's about all we can say about deviation I don't want to do I have got a, a proper deviation meter which I could demonstrate it on but that's another story we're just concentrating on how to do it cheaply and simply to round about the right setting without spending hundreds of pounds on a meter thank you for watching